This 3.8 gigabytes drone video was almost gone due to a memory card error. As you can see, Windows Media Player is unable to play this video and showing an error. Windows Media Player showing unsupported file type and codec error. I also tried to play this video using VLC Media Player, but it was also unable to play the video. Generally, when you open Video Properties window, you can see video resolution, frame rate, video length, bit rate, and other video information. But in this case, it was missing, which means that the video is corrupted. I tried many tools to repair this video, but either they were asking me to pay the fee or limiting the size of the video to one gigabyte or two gigabytes. After many frustrating attempts, finally I found two tools that actually worked for me for free. So let's see how I repaired this video. Our first tool is RecoverMP4 software. And best part is, it's completely free to use. Link of the software is available in the description below. First download the zip file from the link as shown in the video. This tool works with the support of FFmpeg software. To download FFmpeg build, open your browser and type FFmpeg build GitHub. Check the search results and click on the first link. As you can see, there are many options available. I am using Windows 64-bit, so I went ahead and downloaded package accordingly. Once the download completes, copy Recover MP4 zip file and FFmpeg zip file from the download folder and copy both zip files in one folder. Here I have created recovery folder. In the same folder, we also have corrupted video file that we seen earlier and one good reference video file taken from same drone with same settings. Now first right click on the recover mp4 zip file and extract its content. You can see recover mp4 folder in the same location created. Now do the same thing with ffmpeg zip file. Right click on the file and extract its contents. A new folder of ffmpeg will be created. Now navigate to the FFmpeg folder and go to bin folder. Select all files of bin folder, copy them all and paste them in the recover mp4 folder. Now go back and select reference video file as well as corrupted video file, copy both files and paste them in the recover mp4 folder. Now select the corrupted video file and rename it to bad. Select reference video file and rename it to good. 
We are now ready to execute some codes in command line. To do this, navigate to the address bar of the folder and type CMD as shown here, and command prompt will be open. Now in command panel, type recover enders code in P4 EXC, good dot in P4, dash dash analyze and hit enter. You will see new file video.hdr will be created in the folder. This file contains metadata of the good file to use it in the bad file to repair. Now minimize the command panel and go the folder and create new text file because we need to save some commands in this file. Select the command line as shown and paste it in the text file we just created. Now select the command lines as shown and paste to execute new command. But before going any further, delete corrupted file from the command line and type bad.mp4. Now hit enter to execute the next step. Once the command executed successfully, you will see a new file result. H264 is created in the folder. Now go back to the text file we created earlier and copy the code from it. Paste that code in the command line and hit enter. This command will create new file result.mp4 in the folder. Wait for the command to execute it. Can you notice red lines in the command panel? We talk about it later. Now our video process is completed and new recovered file result.mp4 is created in the folder. Close all open windows and locate result.mp4 file and click on it to play. And finally, we are able to play the corrupted file. Can you notice freezing frames in the video? I believe this could happen due to red lines we saw in the command line. Maybe the FFmpeg build causing this. If you know exact reason, please comment down in the description box, but finally the video is playable. So our first tool was worked to some extent, but our next tool worked for me and I recovered complete video without any freezing frames, and I posted that video on my channel. So let's see our next tool. Our next tool can be downloaded from this link. Type the link in the browser.
Scroll down to the page and go the download link is shown here and download the zip file. Once the download completes, copy the zip file and paste it into the recovery folder we created earlier. Now we have to create two copies of our corrupted file in the same folder. Once the first copy is created, make another copy of the same file again. Now right-click on the first copy and rename it to copy1 for better understanding. You can name it as you wish. Do this with another copy and rename it to copy2. Now we have four files in the folder. Copy1 file, copy2 file, master copy of corrupted file and video repair tool zip file that we downloaded earlier. Now go to address bar and type CMD to open command window. Type the command in the command panel as shown here and hit enter and wait the process to complete. This command will merge copy2 file into copy1 file and size of the copy1 file will be increased to double. Now we don't need copy2 file, so you can delete it from the folder. Now select the video repair zip file, right click on it, and extract its content in the folder. You will see new video repair folder is created into the folder. Now we also need one good reference file created on same device with same settings. Once the reference file is pasted, rename it to reference. Now go the video repair folder and click on the GS file, select English in the pop-up window and click OK. In the demo version of this tool, only 50% of the video length can be repaired. To overcome this restriction, we already merged corrupted file two times, so full length can be recovered, but if you are doing it professionally, we recommend you to buy full version. In the open window, click on the Choose Movie button and select the Copy 1 file, available in the folder. Now click on the Choose Reference Movie button and select the reference file, available in the folder. Once both files selected, click on the Scan button and wait the process to complete.
Once the repair process completes, you will see file name in the repaired movie clips box. Now repaired process is done and our video is repaired. Check the new repaired folder created in our recover folder. Our repaired file is available in that folder. Now click on the copy one file and it's magic. Our video repaired perfectly fine and this time there is no freezing frame seen in the video. Congratulations, you saved the corrupted file successfully.